in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 13, verses 1 through 15. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, do not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has battered does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him. For this reason, he said, Not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ, on this Holy Thursday, otherwise known as Mundi Thursday, it is important to reflect with me. Now he showed how perfect his love was. The Gospel of John presented today's event as a demonstration of Jesus' love. According to St. John, Jesus had also loved them, but on this occasion, he made it so convincing and overwhelming that Peter himself refused to offer his feet to be washed. It is also important, my dear friends in Christ, that one of the things we can always remember on this very Holy Thursday is what I call the institution of the Holy Eucharist. It is important, my dear friends in Christ, to remind ourselves that the feet Jesus washed were very dirty. The feet is considered one of the lowest parts of our anatomy. So people don't use the feet of, let's say, chicken, goats, and them, and feel comfortable eating with them. When someone matches you with the feet, it is considered not just an injury, but also an insult. So washing of feet is a practical humility and service. It is hard to disrespect someone whose feet you washed. When it is done by someone lower in status, it could be seen as respect and honor. But in the case of Jesus, it was a sign of great love. He started it during the supper they had. When he gave them the bread, he said, This is my body, which will be given up for you. The entire Christian message could be summarized in this event. Love demonstrated true service. Love for the sake of the one who loved us even unto death. This is what Jesus asked us to do for each other, regardless of who. Can you comfortably wash anyone's feet without force looking at the face to know whose feet? If you can, you are great. Many of us cannot accept something else is attached to it. The two sacraments instituted today, priesthood and Eucharist, are based on total service, humble and selfless service, even unto the cross. And in the two events, 
the Lord asks us to imitate him, wash each other's feet, do this in memory. As we celebrate this event in an unusual manner due to the coronavirus pandemic, let us remember that the one who loved us is greater and stronger than any evil. The blood of the Lamb preserved the Israelites in the land of Egypt. The blood of Jesus is more powerful and more capable. May he preserve you and your family. May the blood that please more insistently than that of Abel heal the world and break the power of the virus. As we wait upon the Lord, let us remember his command to all of us, wash each other's feet. Even if we don't do it yet, let us imagine ourselves washing the feet of people around us. Maybe that will help you to look at your neighbor's feet for the first time. Even that look is difficult. Yes, the Lord knows it is difficult, but he did it first, so we should follow. Prepare your hands. Every feet is for you to wash. Let that symbol of love transform and move our heart in love to each other, especially in this time of crisis. Love conquers all. May the Lord help us to internalize his values and learn to serve each other and the world. May his powerful blood shelter us through his presence to guide us and to free us from all evil. Everlasting Father, on this very day, we celebrate the institution of the Holy Eucharist and the anniversary of the priesthood. We ask your mighty God and Father to help us, just as Abraham saw to the end of stagnation. May we also in this season be reminded that you will also help us to put to an end the pandemic that befalls us. Just as Isaac sought to the end of famine, Joseph sought to the end of his imprisonment, Ruth sought to the end of loneliness, Hannah sought to the end of barrenness, Mordecai saw the end of Haman, David saw the end of Goliath, Jesus even sought the end of death. You and I, including our families and loved ones, will, by the special grace of God Almighty, see to the end of coronavirus through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God continue to bless us, help us to be divinely sanitized, immunized and protected by the blood of the Lamb. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song.